before we move on, mm -hmm. then we're going to have a little uh, reminder for you guys to see yep. what guys are coming up. And let's yep. have a look right now. So he's bringing out his old faithful tournament reliable character, um, Jack Seven. It's kind of like, the, oh, look at this. Who the hell is this? What is this? Nation. This outfit is illegal in 82 countries. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, here we go. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, debugger, no bueno, but he's fuck version. So Lee Min Ho he is here from Australia. Okay, low pick here. Oh my oh, god. This is okay. two times. Okay, giving him rage at this point. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, rage death is kill. Oh, oh no, this is scary. 50-50! 50-50! Oh, oh he's, he's gonna hit! Is that gonna hit? No! Oh, he blocked it! The crowd goes wild! The rage oh, he had it right there! Is what he gonna drive? Is he gonna drive? Oh. oh, what a hop kick! Yo! Lee Min Ho! Damn, that's, that's damn, spicy. okay, that's dude, spicy. I'm already revved up because I just rewatched oh, yeah. the trailer and I got to see mm -hmm. like 10 using a whole bunch of characters. I'm like, I wonder mm -hmm. what he's going to use this time around because yep. things, times have changed, you know, characters have, you know, been worked on and behind the scenes and yep. Tin has been in the shadows the whole time. We haven't really oh, yeah. been seeing him pop up. Yeah, he's um, been so it's going to be really hype around. actually. And mm. hopefully, uh, well, this time we know that Dion's going to be using legal costumes this time. <laughs> yeah. Alchemist was correct. That outfit... <laughs> Was illegal in many, many crime. countries. That's okay. a war crime. <laughs> that was the NATO. I know is like they know where he lives now because of what he did. Mm -hmm. So they're keeping an eye on him. Dude, his costumes are. Dion is known for costumes. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. But right. of course. So um, yeah. I wanted to quickly on. remind you guys that we can uh, we can hear you guys a little bit, a bit clearly, right? Mm -hmm. With some Astro clear, heads. Yeah. So Astro has been again putting in hell of work with the FGC. They've been, uh, you know, sponsoring us, you know, with Tekken. They've, they've given us these amazing headsets to work with. And, uh, yeah, so Astro's official headset of the Tekken Online Challenge. Tekken Online so, Challenge, yeah, big yeah. time. Uh, it's the official headset and mix amp. You get the mix amp of the Online Challenge. Oh, yeah. you know, that's where we're coming from. And oh, we, yeah. they've extended the partnership uh, to us casters, and you know, we get some products as well. And every caster in this challenge is using the special edition Astro main stage headset. Main well, stage, you can't baby. get them at home, unfortunately. Main stage, but, uh, but you, know, you, you can, can go to the website and find out what you can get. Okay, exactly. <laughs> That's right. So, and <laughs> also, don't forget. Okay. Yeah. Also, catch the Bud Light Beer League, right? For Tekken Seven tournaments uh, uh, every Tuesday mm -hmm. on Twitch. Mm -hmm. TV slash Bud Light, okay? Don't miss that. I'm going to be there. Make sure you're there as well, okay? So, what do you... So, before we head in even further, let's get a little bit of extra information about who these guys are, what they mm -hmm. think of each other, and what they're planning to do, okay? Let's Ooh. just jump right into that video right now. Let's go. And we play pretty regularly online on ranked matches. Uh, I'd say that I definitely have the upper hand in, uh, in our past sets. So how confident I am on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably 11. I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be okay. Yeah, so Dion is one of the best players in Australia. Um, you know, he's traveled around the world. He's got his up experience. We have played a few sets in the past. Um, our last official set was uh, back in BAM two years ago in 2018. Uh, he won that one 5-2. But I felt like at that time I wasn't really that um, into the game i barely played but now um since i got my pc last year uh, i've been playing a lot more and i feel like at the moment i am at my peak i think i got this one i like to say if he's a charmeleon i'm a charizard so maybe one evolution on top i do have a few characters in mind um but at the moment my top two would be law or bob there's really, actually, there's about 10 characters I can pick around with. But uh, if, I, if I go down to my last life, which I don't believe I will, then I'll go back to my main character. I know that Dion has recently uh, changed mains to Leroy. It's going to be Leroy. I'm going to have to say it's going to be Leroy at this point. So I'll be playing a lot of um, Leroy myself as well, just to get a feel of the character and what he can do. I won't be preparing for this matchup. I'll just go in blind and uh, just uh, enjoy my fight. So with Dion, his style is very in your face. Um, so in a short set, it's really hard to adapt to it when you're getting pressured you know, all the time. So I feel like 
the longer set, I'll play a bit more slowly um, in the first two games just to feel his his uh, his uh, style, and uh, maybe after that I'll adapt and we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm used to long sets, so I don't think it's going to change too much. The only difference is that it's online. Uh, I don't know how the connection is going to be between me and him. Based on our games that we've had in the past, which is about you know, a few years ago, um, they were quite close, I'd say. Um, but now with my you know, with my experience, I feel like I'll I'll win this five three. Oh, uh, this is a tough one. I think if I play, I think it's going to be five one. If I play well, it's going to be five zero. Leon is a very strong player. Um, I have a lot of respect to him. Um, he's done a lot for the community in Australia, um, but I feel like uh, his time is done. Um, I am making my comeback and it, it is now my time to shine. Honestly, I haven't had one set gamer tag for quite some time. So the reason why I'm leaving Ho is because I was watching one of his dramas. So Lee Ho is an actor. I watched one of his dramas and I was like, this guy's pretty, pretty sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the reason why I chose Lehman Ho as my gamer tag because yeah. this guy was just too good. If anyone doesn't know the movie Fifty Shades of Grey, Mr. Christian Grey, the Grey stands for dominance. <laughs> Me laughing in the background. <laughs> The fact that these guys included my I look I filmed the Sydney guys footage <laughs> and you, man I when I asked Dion what is what is like what's your Dion Gray stamp for? I thought it was like Duran Gray visual K reference or something. And he's like, Oh you heard of Fifty Shades of Grey? Oh yeah, Grey stands for dominance. And I'm like, I look up and look at him and we just <laughs> cracked the hell up. I was like, I could not I was not ready for that man. I was there for oh, that man. God. Holy it, moly, it, dude. Was that's making... a hell of an interview. Dion oh, was God, making, bless Dion. Uh, God bless crazy, Dion. Crazy, oh my God. crazy references there. He was Fifty Shades of Grey. He made Pokemon. He's, he claims he's a Charizard over over. Yes, you know, oh, no, I cracked up with that one too. But hey, but Lee Min, Lee Min Ho, like um, Tin was like using the name Lee Min Ho, talking about a sexy man, and then Dion for some reason was talking about another sexy man. Like, what is going on? This is a lot of sexy energy in this matchup, dude. I don't, I don't know. There's, there's some tension between these guys. Maybe they need to like look, know, talk to each other after the set. I don't know. It's, look, you know. man, we had the boss of this gym yesterday, but I don't know, man. This gym is pretty big. We might have. An Another boss fight right now. I don't know what's going on. Hey, you know, you don't know. What are you gonna get? Well, you never yeah. know. Shout out to the but, Pokemon reference though. Po yes. Pokemon's blowing up these days, so it's super sick. Let's but look, man. Yes. See. What do you guys say online? Who's gonna win? Okay. Who's gonna win? Ooh. Oh, this is a little bit more confident than last time. So yep. everyone's got 80 votes this time, and they're saying 62.5% mm -hmm. is for Dion, mm -hmm. and 37.5 for Tint. Now, it's last again. time we saw the poll, right? It was in mm -hmm. uh, the opposite direction to the end result. So we'll, yes. we can see that again. You never know. Or it could just it be, could. you know, such a, a strong vote because they believe yeah. in Dion enough that he'll yeah, come yeah. out. Well, keep in mind, yeah. Dion's been out and about and been showing us consistently what he's doing and yeah. how well he's doing. So that yeah. may give a sense of confidence to the general public and saying, okay, well, we've seen Dion, but Tan has been in the shadows almost. Yeah. So, Ten has been coming back and he said that he was peaking and I want to yeah. see what peaking Ten oh, yeah, yeah. is all about, okay? <laughs> I want to see all, I want to see the whole peak, okay? So let's hope, let's see what oh, we're going to we get, go. okay? Let's see what we're going to get. So we got Genuine <laughs> Gaming, Dion Gray. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that name, you now know what it means, kind of. Yep, and we've got Leroy has. and we've got Tin Lu with the uh, Martial Law, classic character. Oh, well, yes. one, he's been here since the first game, whereas Leroy's been here for not even the, this whole game. <laughs> not even so, a year, yeah. yeah. But starting but off, I gotta say, drip check, absolutely oh, yeah. passed on both sides. Big drip right Definitely. now. He could fill a pool, man. Oh, one, two, three, running up. Oh, okay. Oh. Ah, Jumped. good. Okay, safe, Jumped safe. into the buffer slide, very nice. But first round going to Dion Gray. A lot of good momentum coming from him right now. and. Leroy is another good momentum character because if you press the wrong way a couple times, he he will make you pay for it. Oh, there we go, nice whip punish. Uh, uh, okay, no wall combo there, but still back to the wall. Not a great place to be. Oh, okay, that's weird. Got the load parry, but the combo whiffed. Okay, oh, they just glitched. Okay, I like the the patient play. You know, two steps in, two steps back. See who's gonna engage first. Get good spacing, but now. Dion's just digging him right into the corner. Yeah. Okay, two round lead. Strong start from Dion. 
Let's see if uh, Tin can just reverse that momentum. Ooh, yeah, whipping a little bit too much. Ooh, nice. Yep. He's Counting catching him with his counter hit. Yep. Let him drop. Ooh, we punish. Oh, right at the wall. Ah. Oh, yeah. Did he even know the wall was there? It was a real uh, sneaky, right, sneaky side wall, yeah. Sneaky. <laughs> the ball's being paid off. Oh, Nader tried oh, to parry the whole thing. That was tree. interesting. Oh, okay. Jumping kick. Nice situation there for the boy. And nice. nice. That's, that's and he's back on the scoreboard. Nice. Mm -hmm. And it's I'm kind of excited to see a law. We didn't see one yesterday, so we're getting a little law fix right now. Yep. I think law is honestly one of the best characters in the game, but mm -hmm. you don't see him that much anymore, right? In, yeah, I'm very surprised as to why. Um, hmm. Because every time I, he, he does appear, it's a very like good outcome, uh, good pressure, very uh, uh, throttling. You feel like it, uh, under a lot of pressure and fear to press anything wrong, you know? Oh. Hey, Leroy, yeah. he, you know, he's been training pretty pretty similar places that, you know, uh, Law's been training. So, hey, yeah. maybe he's, he's taking some good ideas from him. In the trailer, so he yes. beat up all the Kung Fu characters. Then when he first came out, he's basically asserting his Kung Fu dominance. To the right. other one, so he's beat up Fang, he beat up Law, and he's like, "No, no, no get out of here! I'm the new, I'm the yeah, new yeah. Cat. Come, yeah, exactly, can't even, exactly. You can't even match my 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 style. Like, look yeah. at my clothes. And I got a dog. He got a dog. You can't beat that. Fa no. Fans will always go towards where the dog is. We haven't seen yeah, Sugar exactly. in a while. I don't know. Like, don't I've know I've seen the doing. Twitter accounts. You know, can you pat the dog? You know. Yeah. And yes, you can if you're Leroy. Yeah. So, yeah. not if you're Law. So, hey, what are you gonna do about it? So, Dion takes the first match. Mm -hmm. um, I would say in the beginning, it was very um, dominant towards his side. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The word dominant now, it has all these extra extra tones on it. But hey, keep in mind, okay, this is Dion Gray, okay? So, <laughs> but later on, Tin did get his round. He was, I think he was just trying to uh, get a little bit more comfortable. I think, yeah. give, it a, give it a match or two, and then mm -hmm. we'll start to, start to warm up into what's actually happening in the floor. Definitely. So, it's too early to tell. But, you know, did you notice anything different or anything wrong? Um, well, it was hard for Lee Min Ho or oh, uh, Tin to oh, bring Tin, yeah. the momentum back to where he needed it. Uh, because no matter mm -hmm. how much momentum you have, uh, Leroy has the tools to just end that momentum with a single parry, right? Anytime, in, middle, in the middle of a string, anywhere it, he needs to, it can happen. And then it's going to start, you know, going back Leroy's way. So he's got to be very mindful of that. I did mention this yesterday where, you know, any, any string that has enough of an opening, he could turn it around mid-string, right? So yes. I think Tin Lu has to be very, very mindful of that and see if he can take advantage of what he's gained in the first game. Nice counter hit there. We're finally in the five from run stage. We've been ho oh, I was yeah. hoping for that stage to pop up the whole day yesterday and it didn't. And we got it this time through random select. That means that Tin didn't care oh. about the stage. He's more concerned about the matchup. That's right. And as long as Law has walls, he's having a good time. Oh, big okay. time. Kane's out. First round. Goes to so for those who just like, there may be some people who are watching this tournament for the first time watching Tekken oh, 7. There it is. So when it comes to Leroy, if you see him pulling out that cane, mm -hmm. that's a once in a match move he can use. That's right. So now that he used it up in the first round, you're never going to see it for the whole match. So you so, see him and it's a very strong move. Again, another trade in Leroy's favor. We've seen that countless times. Countless times. That's so parry. Okay. What do you think of, uh, of Lord's Drip at the moment? Oh yeah, as I said, the drip check was completely passing, dude. It's, it's great. You know, funny say? Okay. Tin Lu trying to keep Dion at the wall, but Dion fighting his way out. Oh, try to side step, but got keep fighting Oh, down. here's the blender. No, oh, oh, yeah. oh here's it right back at him. Oh, Look, if he can maximize with his rage, let's see what he can kill. get out of this. His this life should kill. And yes, for any beginners again, the lower your health is when you do your rage out, the more powerful that rage out is. Yep. So if you bring it down to 1%, like, you can do a lot of damage. <laughs> a lot of damage. So Leroy's making moves with his uh, down 3-2, but Law's coming in hard with the down 2-3. So it's the opposite, oh, right? Yeah. The yinging and the yanging. Mm -hmm. So Dion changed costume as well. It's just less formal now. Before, it looked like a funeral. Yeah, yeah. He's going to, going to <laughs> oh my Yeah, he's, he's going to, to Law's funeral. <laughs> he's just setting it up. <laughs> he's getting ready. It's like, call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> he just turns up. It's like, oh, you got blood on your shirt. It's not mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was a that was a good round there, and there was a lot of pressure at the wall. Dion was trying to fight his way out. 
spot. Here we are the next round. No, oh, that's, that's Stagger low, but he didn't. Oh, my. He must have been a miss input right there. He must have been so happy to get it that he couldn't yeah. even get into the, his follow up. Oh, my God. Like, yes, I got the low. And now it's time to punish. Oh, no. I just jumped in the air for no reason. God damn it. Oh, nice. This completely challenged this. Oh, here we go. We punish. Adjusted to the right side a little bit, but couldn't that Oh, okay, runs in with the one, two, three. One, two, three is such a good move. It's uh, it's oh, yeah. one, two high, and then the last hit is a knee, which is oh wow, Woo! look at the range on that. Oh, beautifully done. Ten Lu, doing some great stuff. One, two, uh, the rip Boom. special. Right back at him, right here, dude. Frog one, here, frog man. one. Woo. Okay, yeah. Very that was nice. that was a strong. Nice. That was a strong return. It's like you know, mm. he hit him hard first, and he just gave it right back. And I oh, think yeah. that was the same round count as well. One to three. If I remember yes, correctly. I think so. So yeah. this is actually, as we said earlier, it's too early to tell. Things mm -hmm. have warmed up. And I think yeah. that what I noticed in general is that Tint was a lot more aggressive this time. It didn't yeah. lay, leave Dion to run his own game. And mm -hmm. that's what we discussed yesterday. Let him do his thing and you're just trying to defensively find a gap. Mm -hmm. He's not going to give you really many gaps. So you kind of have yeah. to force him back and make him take a step back. Well, make him take a step back, you know? Um, so... That's it's worked out very well for him this time. Yeah, and if we're gonna get this kind of rally, it's gonna be a really tight match. You know, one, oh, yeah. one, two, two. Oof, it's gonna be good. good. That's all we like. Second. We don't want to see some one-sided stuff. We like to see that back and forth. Yeah. We get to enjoy more great Tekken, and we get to learn a lot more as well from these high-level players. You're, there's always something to learn. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And even sure. if you don't play the characters either, you can learn something. Just the way they move. That's the thing. There's such subtle things you can learn from watching any characters a lot of people they get caught up in like i only want to watch matches of the characters i like or the characters i play yeah yeah but you can just there's taken such a fundamental game you can learn things just from timing you know movement you know yeah options, yeah yeah things like that it's not it's a great. purely mathematical game that's what i like exactly. about it it's not like oh yeah. these frames equal this it's like mm -hmm. yes but if you just like don't return it immediately you just immediately scramble the other person thinking and then 15 frames went by and then you cop them with a launcher and it's like, no, ah! it just, it's like you're almost putting your hand in front of their face and you're like confusing them. Mm. It's like adjusting depth perception through like whiffing and whatnot, yeah. you know, having the leading arm in front of them and catching them with yeah. the other. It's like real fighting, you know, so that's the, the same kind of uh, psychological concepts of mind gaming and um, showing false sense of depth and whatnot mm. like that. That goes beyond mathematical frame rates, right? Yeah. The frame rates are the foundation, but then what your human element is what is added on top and makes it an even more heightened experience. Mm. Oh, beautiful that, counter here right there. You. The pressure was heavy from Dion Gray as well. And uh, you saw Tin throw out the down forward to the uppercut that Lord does. And it's got some good range, good tracking yes. a little bit. And he did that in case Dion extended. So he did it in a whiff range. It'll be hard to punch, as you see there. It's like at a range where if he pressed the button, he might get counter hit launched, you know, just for oh, attempt. Yeah. So it's, it's a nice strategy there. Okay. Waiting for the stances to pass by. We'll go to the mid option. That yeah, is those punishable. Those stances are so threatening, eh? These guys are both extremely stance heavy characters. Oh, yeah. Oh, the stick. Oh, All right, he's, he's, out. he's like, this yeah, is he's, heavy. He's, I can't he's, move this fast. Let me put it on the ground. Yeah, Dion like, seems to like to use it pretty early. A lot of people mm. may leave it for their final round oh, as, a, as a comeback yeah. tool. Yeah. There you go. One, I one think round having it there, having it there is very threatening. Like with Rage Drive, yes. when you keep it, you don't use it yet. Your opponent has to think about it, and that's less time, that, less brain power they can spend on figuring out what to do against you. That's right. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. It's all about how you design your mind oh, game. Oh, you know? Again, punishable version there with the mid. Oh. There is a high version, but again, that's duffable. Oh, beautiful man. punish right there. Woo. That's optimal, kids. Uh -uh. Watch and learn. I like his bicycle kick thing that he's got going on. It's pretty yeah, sick. Yeah, it's nice. Looks like he's jumping like, over how, some sort of. It's like gap that's or how punch. like uh, it reminds me of like how we used to do it when we we're like five year olds. Like, oh, I'm, I do, I know how karate, and you just like <laughs> start doing those scissor kicks everywhere. Like, like yeah. a crazy person. Yeah, that's what it reminds me. Of. It's got good vibes. As long as it scares the other kids, I guess. There's another one. Hey, he's, he knows how to do that too. That's combo. The double combo. For all those you what? don't know. Oh, 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 didn't, oh get didn't get the pick up. Ah. Tight little ahead. margins to get those pickups right on time. Oh, nearly dead there. But Leroy Ooh, he, he just jumped in oh, there by that pressure. Wow. Oh, this could be bad. Rage out here. Okay. Oh, yep. Trying to secure the deal. He's got enough, uh, you know, low health to give that Rage out yeah. as much punch as he can. I think that oh, might let's be Let's check good. it out. Yeah. Vibe check. And there it is. Oh, That's okay. great. I can feel it in my chest, man. You're catching my breath. Ugh. Jeez. <laughs>
<laughs> so that is now a 2-1 mm -hmm. yep. with all three matches ending in a 3-1. Yep. Seen a pattern here. Is this, consp is this Illuminati? I don't know, man. Seen some Anime Illuminati? Illuminati? I don't know. Some music sort of Illuminati. Intensifies. I don't know. I don't know, man. That was very interesting. So it's that back and forth is happening right now. Mm. It's very interesting how it's panning out. Mm. So what... What do you think went? I don't. I can't even tell you what went wrong. Nothing really went wrong. It's just that um, it's it's a kind of a back and forth of momentum. So it's about who can let's say take two consecutive wins. Yep. That's a momentum shift, not the back yep. and forth. So mm -hmm. we'll see if this is going to be a equalizer or if mm -hmm. it's going to be a retention of power on one side. I Very curious to see how it pans out. We saw a lot of results coming from the person who most recently was a, a, a kind of being successful in the offense basically it was yeah, yeah. less about yes there was a lot of just always defense like when you look at these guys a lot of people might say oh they're just attacking or you know they're just throwing out buttons well they're, they're not really it's very opportunistic they're still defending a lot mm. otherwise if they didn't defend they'll just die instantly you know you're just getting hit by everything yeah and definitely not <laughs> yeah, yeah you get popped all the time yeah, yeah. so but your general is, uh, they're very aggro they're very mm. aggro mm. both of them so yeah he who aggro just... seems to be winning at the moment yeah and i think both of them have good counter hit um scenario so if they get the counter hit they look for the counter hit they get a lot of rewards from it so counter hits require someone else to press a button and you have to press it just a little bit earlier yep and get the again get the, the counter hit so timing is key as tin lu would say yeah there you go all right here we go how okay. would a state okay big combo mm. potential here for both of these so guys. again 10 losers he goes into a random stage select every time oh we go so so and last time it worked for him. let's see if we're oh, gonna get a go. howard buff there's no, there's no geese playing, but yeah, for those who are watching around the world, uh, it turns out the Howard estate is actually in Australia because it's the house of the, our former Prime Minister, John Howard, is the brother of Geese Howard. And, oh. you know, it's a big, it's a big estate. So, you know, the, you know, one lives on the North Wing, you know, Geese is on the, on the East Wing. And, you know, I, I stream from the West Wing. If you watch my streams, I'm in the, I'm the Howard estate as well. I'm on the East Wing, on the West Wing, sorry, of uh, the Howard estate. It's a big Didn't place, know you were man. so tied to the Howards. Oh, nice three points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, man, I got to pay rent though, but hey. That's fair it, enough. It, but, you know, the food's good. Yeah. You, can eat, <laughs> you can eat the walls afterwards, so it's pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, the ginger bread, right? <laughs> yeah, ginger's good yeah. for you. Here we go. Okay, now, you see Tim's trying to push him to the breakable wall, but Dion's not wanting to go there. Nice counter hit. Bicycle kicks into the double hand attack. Now, Tim's back to the wall. What's he going to do? He's getting, he's just chipping it, chipping away to get out. <laughs> Such a good move. Down back three. Just, oh, just trip. It's like when someone, uh, you know, when you're a kid and someone at school tries to just trip you. Oh. He tried to trip it, but he blocked it, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, he yeah, does yeah. it again. <laughs> and then your shin's killing you, sir. Like, it's yeah, like, nice ah. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, okay. One more. Send the message. No wall broken yet either. They're just staying in the silver section. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we rarely get to see people go down the balcony because that garden in the back of the stage is really cool. Mm. I wish that was its own stage in and of itself. It's like straight to the garden. So one thing That's why we've got that... Vermilion Gates are coming in to fill oh, up yeah, that need. For that. Nice punish. So one thing you'll see from, or hear from a lot of people who dislike playing against Leroy or characters with good parries. Sure. There was, oh, he, he parries everything, right? Oh, it's, it's not fair. But as you'll see what Tin is doing, he's getting parried in there, but he's also very dynamic with his timing. So he'll do some moves, and then last time, maybe he did a, a follow-up, right? This time he won't do it. And you might see Dion, you know, try to parry, expecting what happened last time, and it didn't come. So now he's thinking about, okay, can I continue to do this parry here or not? And now he has to think, okay, where's the next yeah, parry yeah. come in? So that's something And that's that all the, the mind game that's happening in, like, real time, right? <laughs> this exactly. is happening 60 times a second almost, right? Yeah. Oh, see, oh, the Subaki there. Look at oh, that. That is a big, big blender, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got another 3-1 match. Yep. But this time with a two-match lead going to Dion Gray. Very strong at the moment. Looking very strong. He's That's hitting it. a lot more parries as well. Now, these parries are coming strong. That's a good amount of mm. damage as well. Uh, but Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot, of, a, a lot uh, of psychological damage as well. You get mm. parried and your soul just shrivels. It's, it's like, all just... psychological at this level. You know, as as you get as <laughs> yeah. you progress in Tekken, you realize more and more it's less about just the frame data and uh, yeah. you know the character and the matchup and just yeah, how good yeah. this movie is. It's more about okay, well, at a certain level, you expect your your opponent kind of knows all of that. Fundamentally, they understand all of that. So it's less about the yeah. tools now and more about how you use them. 
So it's about yeah, it's like they graduated from level one. They're all level yeah. one graduates, and now it's like about the second level, which is not taught or you can't yeah. lab one's mind until you actually mm -hmm. interact with them or yeah. watch what they do. So that's right. Um, you know, um, Dion is a very he's, a, he's like a pattern recognition magnet. I would yeah. say he's very good at spotting out patterns. Mm -hmm. So I, I and I think from memory, um, Tin and Dion used to live together, like you know, in the same town for several years in the past. Like they both used to live in Melbourne. Yes. Uh, kind of, it was by the time that Tin started coming out, right. Dion right. had already moved to uh, Sydney. Oh, right, but because I always thought like they grew up together, like no, 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 training no. off of each other. No, 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 okay. no never, never, never. Okay. So by the time Tin started coming out, uh, which was 2014, uh, okay. something like that, uh, Dion had already moved to Sydney. But he, oh, he right, came down right, here right. and there. Uh, but yeah, yeah okay that's game. maybe because i've been hearing like i don't know maybe dion was saying in passing like, oh, we, we we played some long sets in melbourne and i was like i thought they were living together okay oh uh, yeah no, no, when, just, when, just come when, and visit uh, okay yeah, yeah when dion's come over you know we've gone over to his house or you know we've, yeah, we've gone course. somewhere and played that's and, always uh, the case that's right no matter no matter whenever someone from sydney goes to melbourne or vice versa mm. we have to like find all the taking guys yeah. do like <laughs> three days in a row back to back yeah. in unlimited hours uh, and you know it, it's a lot of fun first of all oh and yeah. also you get a lot of good training out of it because it's good to like just um start to practice with people that you're unfamiliar with yeah because sometimes you get caught in some weird holding patterns because you're versing the same person again yeah. and again and you can't spot each other's mistakes almost mm. it's like blind spots but so it's always right good to new people so Tin right now spotting a lot of Dion's mistakes. He like Dion took out most of his health. He's in rage right now. Oh, the orbital! Wow, yeah, that was a, closing that round. That was a clean round by Dion. Uh, Tin started coming back. You know, got a low parry. Started predicting some things, but did not work out there. Let's it rip! Big launch. Uh, and also with what Petrol was saying, I definitely know all about the uh, coming over and just playing non stop. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Brown man is notorious for that, dude. Oh, I remember <laughs> at Evo like we were at Vegas and we went to the. The, um, uh, the, what was it called? Uh, weapon Underhouse, right? Yep, yep. And you just sat there after a full day, yep. another <laughs> no full sleep. day, like until the sun went up, playing long sets with like mm. Sora, you know, some Saudi players like Yaz mm -hmm. and Sora. We had, um, of course, uh, Ni and whatnot was there, but they just left. And we had um, Aslan, Aslan was sleeping because they were like non stop. He just won Evo, and all <laughs> he wants to do is have a nap. And he was doing like mega long sets with Ni and whatnot. And then we came in and they were like, oh, what's up, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Aslan. We'll talk about it soon, though. We'll talk about it soon. We better get back to this one. <laughs> it's a good, it's a funny story. Top block, though. Oh, uses Whoa, the bolt. Uh, out. Two rounds later than usual. Okay, Tin taking the, this round now. So it's still 2-1 in, uh, in this game. But still, any rounds count right now. He needs to build that momentum sure. up. Uh, momentum up, I should say. Here we go. Okay, it's looking like a similar pattern. We've got 2-1 rounds. He needs uh, ten minutes oh, to break this. Yep. Oh, that's a good, good choice right there. So he's Tin has to his advantage. Uh, uh, no, we're not this time. Oh. But Tin hasn't been successful in that uh, while standing four into flip kick yet. Right, oh, right. Break the floor. Here we go. Still more floors to go. Uh, uh, dragon cannon. No ice damage. Oh, counter hit. Okay, could he take yeah. the strength? Oh! Ah, uh, he was committing to too many lows. Ah, yeah, yeah. And that is the way to lock it in. That Sometimes you got to use that rage out to secure it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Dragon Tail is yeah. a reactable low as well, so it, it, it's mm. it's pretty tricky because when he was getting up, you know, you know, unless you've committed to a button already, it's it's super dangerous. Yeah. Uh, he could have maybe thought, okay, maybe I'm in rage right now. Maybe he he didn't look up or yeah. something like that and thought, okay. I'll do a rage uh, dragon tail now, and then I'll just see the yeah. situation afterwards. But unfortunately, uh, that's not what happened. He got a regular one, and uh, he ate a rage a rage heart for that one. But so now it's the score so is four, four for Dion right now, and one that's, for ten. That's that's hard. That's hard. In the interview, Dion did say that it would be his score prediction was five one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it worst. I think he said like worst case scenario five one. Yeah, and if everything's good, five zero. So that five zero is out the window, okay. But mm -hmm. the five one, I think he's working his way towards that. So looking scary for ten. He has to bring it back. Okay? It's not a great place to be, especially like uh, against a player like genuine gaming. Yeah, yeah. great. Like it's it's dangerous. And when he, oh, especially yeah. when he's up, uh, he'll start messing around, which sometimes can backfire on him. But when he sure. his way of messing around, if he's got a read on you, it'll if you allow it, it'll let it'll get into your head, and then you'll just start crumbling even more. So the trick is yeah. not to let it get into your head. That's important. But if it does, you're in trouble. 
you're in big trouble. Yeah, it's all about that recomposition, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, jump into the next set with a clear mind as if nothing yep. ever happened and just go forward. Mm. But Tin is not playing... Uh, it, you might look at Tin now and be like, oh, he's not that good right, or right. something like that. But it's, like, it's, not, it's not the case at all. It's just this is a very difficult match. And uh, he definitely is uh, not able to kind of do everything he might want to do because Dion Gray is just not allowing it to happen a lot of the time. And that's a difficult position to be in. So the current score is 4-1 for this first of five. This is pretty crazy. Oh, we got the Leroy stay. Wow, okay, guys. So you're going to hear the Leroy theme song. You know, in this state, the, the well. Leroy Estate. What? Yep, <laughs> yeah, Leroy Estate. He likes to open the. I've never air. heard of the player. Leroy Estate. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. One, two. Okay, see that time? Many times before, yep. Tin Lu did one, two into a high or medium button. Right. This time, he knew Dion was going to parry it because he did it before. He did a low and he got counter hit for it. So that's the type of stuff. You're switching it up. You're switching up your moves. You're switching up your timing. So next time, we'll see if he tries to set that up again, and we'll see what Dion does. We'll see if he parries, and we'll see what Tim does afterwards as well. But the first round, going to Dion Gray. If he wants to set something like that up, he does not have much more time. He's going to need to bring this one back very soon. Ooh, another one. So, oh, oh, that counter hit low. Yep. Oh, oh ooh, this is very good right. for him right now. Okay, oh, that should be the round. Like... Big damage. Epta Chrysagramata, okay? Seven golden letters, this time in Greek. Hey. I promise I would say, I told I told them on Twitter, I'm going to say it. <laughs> I did, okay? I'm just making I'm sure. Counting it. Okay, see there, he did the he did the swipe and he did the back one plus two. Expecting or hoping Dion, I'd say Tin would press a button and would get a free combo. But not this time. All those blows. Oh, okay, here we go. Slash kick. Oh, Whoa, gets, okay. That, that, things are getting oh. pretty spicy. Set point. Oh, the music! It's pumping! Let's go! <laughs> okay, this oh, is, this could be... Place. Imagine going out like this. Oh, with the Leroy theme. Okay, okay. I like, almost don't want to say anything just to hear it. Yeah, I wish for this round. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is actually looking pretty tense. Good launch right there. Let's see if you can get some recovery damage. He owns back to the wall. Can we see a parry? Oh, Whoa, the trade. Oh, got... Interesting. Oh, that's punish. Oh my back god. In. Okay, finally breaks the curse of the one round match. Mm -hmm. That was very dangerous. That trade, most trades don't go in, don't don't go in your favor when you're versing Leroy. This is pretty intense. Yes. Oh, and that kind oh, of like just like those kind of situations. Mm -hmm. Okay, no wall spot there. Oh, big hell sweep. Good luck trying to step that move. Oh, this could be the end. Not quite. One more hit. Nice block, but the second Whoa, hit takes it. With a perfect. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Genuine Gaming's Dion Gray mm -hmm. for grabbing that second match with as a predicted score of 5 1. 5 1. He did it. And this time the pollsters were correct, okay? Mm -hmm. Damn, that was rough, man. <laughs> it, almost, it almost started to happen again. Mm -hmm. Those two rounds gotten, but it just wasn't enough, man. I think Dion Gray has really, really been working for it this year and yep. paid off. That was, yeah. that was that was intense. What did you think? Uh, what did you think? Uh, that was very. I could tell. You could tell it was very difficult for Tin to find his footing. And again, that's not just a Leroy thing. It's like, oh, it gets difficult against Leroy, which it is. But Dion Gray's uh, application of the tools that he was given and his timing and his style uh, was definitely on display here today. Where. Oh, he yeah. just did not give the opportunity to Tin. He did not hand the ball to him at any point. Like, uh, one of the games, he, he Tin took the ball, but then he yeah, came yeah. right back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's... It almost... What can you say? It's it's just a hard fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just came out on top. It was, uh, you know, if you want to throw a Simpsons reference again, it's the bombardment, <laughs> right? It was just yeah, basically... Bombardment! Got... Bombardment. bombardment! Bombardment! It's just like boom, boom, boom. And he can't stop because there's all the stances, there's the, the lows and the highs that just always coming in. Do you suck her in and want to duck, get counter hit, puff right in the middle? It's like, it's just... It's Leroy like, it's like, hey, has Petro, his like, what, what's, on the, what's on the schedule today, Petro? Oh, what do you mean? What? Oh. Damn. What's on the... Ask me what's on the schedule. What's on the schedule, bro, man? Bombardment! Bombardment! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God! I can't believe you I let me down. I actually got bumped. I got bumped. I can't oh, believe God. you let me down. Nah, you embarrassed dude. me in front of all these nice people. <laughs> no, you didn't, dude. I'm embarrassed, dude. Oh, oh, that's pretty God. good. That's pretty good. You know what? I like that. I like that. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for bombardment, dude. Holy moly. All right, well, we're we yeah, to be dude, ready. Getting... Yep. Uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit peckish, to be honest. So I'm just going to have a Are you a bit peckish? Yeah. 
You know, we oh, got yeah. we like our we like our snacks in this country, right? Oh so. come on. Not again. What? Can I, what? Can I have one? What do you mean? Oh, this is like gold. You know how this is in this country. I, I know, These but like gold. hey, man. But like, bro, come on. Just, just give me one. Right. One. Give me one. Pass it over. Yeah, you're my mate. You're my mate. Pass it up. You can have one. You can have one. Okay. okay, I'm gonna have one. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Got it. Got it. Okay. Let's see. All right. Mate, okay. you took I, I three. Got... Yeah, I did. Why not? Look at oh. this. He took Stooge. three. Stooge. All right, we're gonna hey, we're gonna do about it. We'll see you guys soon. Look, man, to talk to this we're, man. we're gonna get an interview with Dion. Okay, just have a just little break. It. Be right back. Okay? Just just be right back. Just We're back, okay? We're Here we back. are. Had a little snack. Feel a little bit more jazzed up. A and little snack? Are, sir, please. That was a yes. triple snack. It was, it was, was small. It was small. With an O. Small. Okay. So we've got our uh, our competitors from our previous match. We're getting them ready for a little mm -hmm. uh, post-match uh, opinions mm -hmm. and statements. Mm -hmm. We'll see what's going on with that. But, dude, how do you feel? How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. You know, uh pretty good today weather's nice uh, no, <laughs> no, oh, that, well, was a, that was a, that was a, that was well. that was an interesting match obviously um you know they're, they're both friends of mine you know uh, and i've been trading partners with tin for a long time and i've known dion for a long time uh so it was hard to say who i wanted to win it's it's super difficult uh but you know at the end of the day there's always another match to have you know for both players they can always do it again when in the future right you know it's tasty steve do it again they'll definitely do it again it's not over <laughs> right what do you what about you yeah. what about you 
Yeah, so well, what I know is that they're right here now. They're knocking on oh. our doors. Let's just let them jump in. There we go. Wee! Okay. We got the, the, the com El Campeone. <laughs> we got Genuine Games, Dion Gray, and Tin Lu on the line right now. How's it going, guys? Yo. What's up, guys? How's it going? Good, good. So, um, Dion, how was the match for you? Uh, yeah, pretty good. I think uh, first few games were really tight, kind of. Um, I did a lot of... I did a lot of big moves to basically uh, check how his defense was. Um, I don't know, maybe around third game, I felt that he had uh, kind of weak low fuzzing and weak low defense, and I just went straight lows for the next four games and uh, just cashed in on that, I think. That was about it. Right, there you go. So did you feel like the Leroy was the right choice? Like that was, you didn't have to, any feeling like you would need to go to Jack or anything like that? Not you just run and solve uh, Yeah, honestly, this this patch, I haven't played enough of other characters and I've literally just been playing this one character in here. Right, I so you're like a Leroy loyalist now. We can yeah, say that. I mean like, yeah, I know all the stuff I need to know for this guy and there's nothing really, there's bad matchups or things I need to really care about. Um, not like when I was playing Jack, I had to care about more characters, but this is like, if you chuck anything at me, it's fine. It uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, so, um, Tin, how did you feel about your, your run? Um, I felt like the first few games were all right, but then after that, like, I just kind of, I felt like I was too scared of Leroy's um, lows. And as yeah, De I mean, Dion yeah. was saying that, you know, he, 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 he felt that as well. Um, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's Leroy, so... <laughs> What can Wait, you do? You know? <laughs> so, nah. did you feel comfortable with that uh, law? Are you like enjoying how uh, law yeah, is in this I've... season and whatnot? Yeah, yeah. So, just recently, I have been sticking with law a bit more. Um, I just feel like um, you know, he has all the tools, and I feel like it played really well. He is, you know, one of the stronger characters. So, I thought, you know, playing against someone like Lee, where probably law would be a good pick, but uh, yeah, it did, didn't turn out too well. But yeah, man, it was a good match from both of you guys. Nonetheless, it was it was very in the beginning. It was back and forth, and then all of a sudden the momentum started shifting, and it was like, you know, we wanted to see if you could just bring it back. Right at the end, you had those two rounds, and it's like, oh, he's bringing it back, and it just wasn't enough. It was mm. that that Leroy Blender is so real, you know. So yeah, yeah, you got caught up in it. So Brahma, do you have anything extra to say? Um, no, it was it was well played. Um, you know, I know both these players very well, so they I, I yeah. know how they play, and it was um, they did what they could. Um. I, I wanted to ask Dion about his uh, oh, yeah? Charizard. Are you a Charizard now? <laughs> What's going yeah, on? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a Charizard. So, you know, I'm flying around, blowing fire at everything. And uh, yeah, I guess Charizard gets stronger and stronger. <laughs> keep a, a fire extinguisher right. on the back or something. Man. Your yes, Pokemon's blowing up these days. So. definitely uh, getting close to a Charizard as well. I can Ooh, feel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you, Charmeleon and then he's, now? He's, he's, he's definitely he's, Charmeleon. Yeah, Charmeleon. Okay. Definitely Charmeleon. Uh, maybe he's just maybe two or three levels away from getting that uh, Charizard. So, but Dion, are you going to Mega Evolve? Once Tin mm. gets Charizard, are you going to Mega Evolve? Uh, well, look, I don't know if I want to be an EX Charizard yet. Maybe That's when the next say. CWT starts, you know? Oh, okay. You're going to save it. Are you going to yeah, make a choice which kind of EX you're going to be, right? Exactly. There's two exactly. types. That's it. Okay, okay. Makes right. sense. Makes sense. There you go, dude. Good stuff, man. Right. Appreciate it for you guys jumping in. Coming. We'll catch you around, dude. Skin. GG's, man. GG's, man. GG's. But yeah, that was hell of fun. <laughs> yeah, thank God you jumped in with the important questions right there. I was like, man, th we need to know more about that Charizard. We don't know. Hey, nobody brings that hey. up for no reason. <laughs> like... I know. Hey, that's true. It's true. Hey, yeah, man, that was a good. That was a good match. It was mm. um, very strong display from Dion.